Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is the uh, post news on seventh uh, February newspaper front page dawn. <coughs> DRI knocks on Supreme Court door of Karachi census figures. Argues that counting process was contrary to United Nations uh, standards by Nasser Iqbal. Islamabad, Jamiyat Islami, Islamist Karachi chapter, has moved and the Supreme Court to seek a directive that the process of conduct of population census 2017 in the city was contrary to the mandate, obligations, and standards set by the United Nations. Five to two. <clears throat> Okay, <clears throat> while through advocate of Tab al Yasir, the petition argues that the decision of the Council of Common Interest, CCI, cannot be overridden by the federal cabinet and the post census audit ordered by the CCI cannot be ignored while confirming the census. Moreover, the General Statistics Reorganization Act 2011 is ultra wide ultra-wires, as it does not meet the standards laid down by the United Nations and the questionnaire framed under uh, Section 23 um, of the Act and uh, used for the census 2017 is against the United Nations standards. The petition center uh, contended, sorry, contends. Therefore, the act should be declared ultra wires at least, um, it leaves the apex court. No mechanism for appeal has been provided under the Act to challenge validity of the census, it says. According to the petition, the census is so offending uh, to the public at large and against the international interest since the people cannot be found accounted in unrealistic counting, which may render them un facilitated and unblessed with permanent development work coupled with social and economic upgradation. The census should be treated at the, as at the touchstone of Article 8 of the Constitution. The figure is population of Karachi, 16.05 million, 2017, 9.8 5 million in 1998. Uh, so, the Pakistan Bureau of Statistics. And this should be declared and to be in um, <clears throat> derogation and derogation of the fundamental rights of the people, the petition contented, contents. Earlier, in a different, different case about the absence of the local government in the country, Attorney General for Pakistan, Khalid Tawil Khan, had told a two and that the Supreme Court bench that the 2017 census still awaited approval of the CCI, after which it would be notified. The AGP had conceded that the Sindh government had objected to the census results, particularly with regard to Karachi, on the ground that the numbers contended, con, uh, numbers counted were considerably less than what they should be. The Jamaat Islami petition contends that the census issue is of public importance since it forms the 
And this is of electoral college for national and provincial assemblies as well as local government institutions and has a direct impact of, on planning coupled with development works affecting the lives of the provinces and their relationship of federation. The petition argues that the census 2017, especially of Karachi, does not meet international standards. It says that the problems of Karachi are important for Pakistan as being the most tax generating city. It has one sixth population of the country, which is a sufficient ground to exercise the extraordinary jurisdiction of Article 184. Part 3 of the Constitution to enforce the fundamental right of the public at large and to advance the public interest. Uh, it says that the electoral college should uh, reflect uh, real population besides the statistical data should be cleaned from erratic and miscalculated population with fundamental fundamental in, what is this, prevalent in, intent. The petition argues that according to the census 2017, Pakistan has been ranked as the fifth most popul populous nation in the world with a population of over 200 million. While all nations and uh, econ economics uh, rely on a population growth and the future younger generations. Uh, such growth must be sustainable and proportionate unto the resources available. About 14,000 babies are born in Pakistan every year, um, which is already struggling to feed, um, to feed, educate, and to provide employment to its existing population. Pakistan has experienced unchecked population growth since its creation in 1947, and from 1998 until 2017, its population has increased by 57% with the addition of approximately 76 million people to the population. Projected growth trends by the United Nations suggest that if this population growth rate does not slow considerably, Pakistan can expect to have its population increase in 50%, resulting in an estimated 306 million people, surpassing the United States, Indonesia, Brazil, and Russia to become the world's third lar largest country in terms of population trailing behind India and Pakistan the petition fears. The steadily, this steadily increasing population trade in Pakistan is a ticking form. And what follows this population explosion will be starvation, famine, and poverty. The likes of which are already visible in areas like Thar, the petition fears. Other indicators of overstressed resources and infrastructure are apparent in Pakistan's unemployment rate, maternal and child mortality rate, illiteracy and educational enrollment figures, and access to clean water and adequate food. <clears throat> These figures make it clear that Pakistan is not equipped to handle the additional, the addition of another 100 million people to its ranks, the petition fears. And in the end, the formal request, if you have not yet, please subscribe our channel and press the like and bell button to get the fresh numbers. Thank you for watching. Have a nice time. Goodbye.